Hi everyone, uh, this car bit I'll talk about uh, Delta Temperature Controller uh, DTD series uh, basic operation. So here you can see for the operation we will have uh, three modes. First one it will uh, stay at the operation mode, then we can go to the regulation mode or uh, initial setting. So first time when we get the uh, temperature controller then we have I'll go to the initial setting mode first because we have to select the input uh, sensor type. Input sensor type can be uh, analog signal, uh, platinum uh, resistance, or uh, thermal couple. And in today's example, we will use a thermal couple three type sensor. But actually, just uh, we uh, show the wiring together. So now we can switch. So you can see, uh, we just let the set uh, for three seconds. So we will go through the input sensor type, and uh, as I mentioned, we use the three type, and then uh, you can click uh, this cycle button. So here you can uh, we can select the temperature unit uh, to be Fahrenheit or Celsius. Okay. And next be the uh, temperature upper limit and lower limit and then the control mode. So you can see for the control mode we select the PID and you can use this one to change to on off uh, manual and the pro 6. Uh, here we use the PID first. And then you can see here we have some uh, alarm setting. And if you want to use the software or the mobile to control uh, temperature controller setting, then uh, remember to uh, enable this function. Okay, so the default would be off. So remember uh, switch to on. And then we'll be go to the uh, protocol setting, uh, select us to RTU. Uh, then here is the MOBUS address, uh, station address, not ID. Then uh, will be the bow rate. Uh, for the default bow rate will be uh, 96007 E even 1. Okay, then you will back to uh, center type. So after that, we can click uh, set again. So you will see, we will go back to the operation mode. And then if we want to uh, do the auto tuning or PID, then you can uh, click uh, set button again. And then uh, here we will show you the uh, temperature uh, value. Then uh, this one is to control the run or stop. Then would be the uh, decimal point. So decimal point you can select uh, either zero or one. Okay. Uh, so uh, we click this one to switch the mode. So you can see here can be uh, run or stop. Then we switch, this one is a decimal point, so if we change to zero, and later we go back, you will see now uh, only uh, no decimal point. So let's uh, go back and change to one. Okay, then it will be the lock, lock uh, function, uh, we support uh, two more. Okay, so lock one means it will uh, lock all the settings. So all the parameter uh, settings will be uh, disabled. Uh, lock two, that means uh, we can uh, set most of the uh, parameter except uh, the setting points. But uh, if we want to uh, unlock, then we just uh, 
place and set and this uh, cycle pattern uh, together. So you will uh, unlock the status. It means you can uh, start to modify the parameter setting. Uh, next, we go to the software portion. So as we, as I already mentioned, for the node uh, ID, uh, staging ID is a one, and uh, nine six double uh, seven even one uh, ASCII. So we come back to the software, select this one. Okay, uh, this is the first. Uh, you have to check the serial port that you connect uh, from your laptop is uh, from which serial port. Uh, if you don't know, then you can uh, go to the device manager. So here is the serial port 2. So we select the serial port 2. And then uh, keep the default setting 9600, uh, data 7, uh, 30 bit even, and uh, start bit uh, 1. Then we can click the uh, auto detect. But uh, so is the auto detect, but we have to select this one again. Our pilot detect, we select even uh, and drag to ASCII. And after that, we can click uh, start. So after this uh, finish, then we click this one and click accept. And this one is uh, for the PC side. So we can okay. So the setting uh, finish, then we can uh, click this icon, and then uh, click uh, connect. Uh, so once we uh, connect the software, so you will see uh, the present value and setting value will be consistent with the setting, and you will see this one at. Uh, so C because we uh, select the unit in uh, Celsius and if you want to change to Fahrenheit then you can just uh, change from here and you will see this value also change to uh, Fahrenheit and then we get to uh, Celsius okay and you can also modify the uh, setting value over here so example uh, we set that to uh, so you will see uh, if we change the value to 30 then the output uh, will increase and then if we change to 50 you will see it go up to 56% uh, uh, example we increase to uh, 70 then it almost 100% output okay and you will see this one will also indicate the output status of the temperature controller so again, if we back, uh, set the setting value back to uh, 23, okay, so you will see the output is uh, uh, zero, and this almost uh, the output indicator also uh, start. Then we change to uh, 25. So you will also see the output uh, will output one will also increase, and here you can also modify the control mode like a PID, uh, on off manual and ramp. Okay, and here's control the status of a uh, run and stop, and you can also change the mode from uh, heating to cooling or heat or cool uh, heating and cooling together. Uh, so in different channel. Then this is the lock uh, status. This I already mentioned. We have the lock one and lock two. And this is for the auto tuning. For this uh, auto tuning, and you can also select the different uh, sensor type over here. And for the unit, we already uh, demonstrate uh, for Celsius and uh, Fahrenheit. And then you can also check the. Uh, set a value and here is the range and the point uh, that's small point then uh, this is the uh, PID parameter that uh, uh, this value will generate uh, when you use the uh, auto tuning 
then uh, here you can uh, use the software to set the alarm. Uh, besides, you can also put some uh, offset. So for example, for now we uh, put the 10 over here. So you will see the uh, present value will increase 10. So this is the offset function. Uh, so this is all for the uh, basic operation of uh, built-up uh, temperature controller. Uh, thank you.